talking about you got this and you got that, and you gonna murder this one and murder that one. You talking all that bullshit. I'ma put it to you like this, yo. This is for the nerds. This is for the brainiacs. This is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back. You ain't gonna touch me. You not gonna do nothing. You are not above me. I bet you wish you was me. I know that I know. What is poppin' everybody? And welcome back to another special episode of the Only Friends Podcast. Well, you know, it's me and my only friends, which includes, but is not limited to, my boy Tortilla! We getting it poppin', baby. Yeah, you need we're to here. get the fuck off this boat and go what? get some goddamn shakers. I know, I'm You're going not, to. We're Listen, not going to do right this there. shit anymore. The Cayman Islands are right behind me. I'm going to get some shakers. We'll have them for tomorrow. Uh, for you. There better for be you. no bulls. And they have to yeah. have a tortoise on them. They're going to have a tortoise. They're going to have pirates on them. Oh, oh speaking my. of pirates. Oh, my <laughs> God. This guy find the way five to work in the 5-0. and, and oh. Oh. Five and zero, oh, baby. You know who also is five and zero, oh, right? The Yankees, but that doesn't matter because they're supposed to win. They're really, really good. The Pirates are bad and supposed to lose, but we're off to a historic start, man. I mean, you guys. Nineteen eighty three is the last time we went five and zero, oh, and the Pirates have never gone five and zero. Oh. And not finish the season above 500. What do you think, Burke? Are you going to veto this? I'm like, trying. This is Con- over the show. Conrad did this. He <laughs> threw it to, to LaManna. He knew what he was he getting. I don't understand why Burke wouldn't want to talk about the Pirates. Because it's game five of 162 game season. Uh, I said this hyped, early. Man. Once we get to the All Star break, if they're above 500, we can chat all about it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, big shout out to Tom. I want to get this shirt off me as quickly as possible. <laughs> uh, I don't know if wow. you can see this That's or not. Happy shirt. birthday, Baldy. We got, we got Daddy <laughs> Tom. Happy Zaddy birthday. Todd. Zaddy mm. Todd. Zaddy Todd. Right. Todd. <laughs> Zaddy Todd. Uh, the backstory to this was Melissa first met, or sorry, not Melissa, Caitlin. Nikki and Caitlin. Caitlin both it was first, Caitlin. Well, you both first met him. Yeah. At dinner at GPI's last year. And uh, they just, for whatever reason, started okay, calling him Todd. Todd. No, Caitlin called him Todd, into... and then we played it off. And so right. then we started like calling him Zaddy. So then we keep calling him Zaddy Todd. No matter what. Right. He was a zaddy, though. So He did pay the bill. Happy happy birthday, he's zaddy. He's 44. Is that why he's got the 4-4 uh, four four in his hand? It is. All right. It is. Uh, I thought maybe it was his hand wow, or something. Good catch, it's Brian. also why he's yeah. Wow. Yeah. On Eagle po- Eye. On point. Eagle Look at Turtle Eye. 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 I'm in my... Listen, everything's going smooth. I'm in my vacation era right now. I just... Must be um, those shades. I think it's the shades. Wow. I think it might be this uh, blue tank top. Yeah. The rock clothing really loves mm-hmm. this hardest worker in the room bit. I don't know <laughs> where, where we see that at. Oh, it's a parental, vi- yeah. parental advisory right. warning. Hardest right. worker. Parental in the room. advisory. Mm-hmm. The hardest worker in the room. Hardest worker. <laughs> Landon <laughs> really takes issue with this. Like what? he is not okay with this hardest worker in the room I messaging. Mean, it's, it's a little cr- well, who the fuck notices it? It's a tiny like, little thing. I mean, in the I noticed it. We now. noticed it. I didn't, I didn't notice it before. That's my point. But I, I'm noticing like it now. An honor student, student bumper, bumper sticker. It. Hardest worker yeah. in the room. My child is an honor student. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't buy the shirt because it says it's uh, hardest worker. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I bought the shirt because it doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> you okay? want everyone to know you're the hardest worker in the room. <laughs> yes, you get yes, some you anime you uh, sleeveless, like, yeah, like Landon. I don't uh, see. We get different. Instagram ads, okay? Oh. <laughs> like, I, I don't get the mm-hmm. the eight fingered octopus that's no, uh, neither do I. Dripping fingered guapo, octopus. though. That's our porn <laughs> ads, I not know. our Instagram <laughs> ads. Our Instagram ads are like Kylie Jenner lip plumper. <laughs> shit like mine, that. mine are just like, it's, is your butt st- It's like, is it like anal bleaching okay, at I home? Don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't have those ads. It's like, is your butthole dark? I'm like, well, I mean, maybe. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> is it <laughs> not supposed to be dark? I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that that was undesirable. You can do it at home. Be- I'm home bleaching okay. on Instagram. Are they You'll probably get some ads now. Just to match so. your areolas. Oh, well, hmm. then right. they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you need it. What is Bro doing? Bro? I'm trying to see if that's a reasonable is color that for that your The color yeah. of your butthole. This is like a reasonable now color. Bend color. Over. Now bend over. Okay. It's, it's like hard buzz. to look at them at the exact same time to like a compare them. Stop well, doing this to Guapo. And that's what friends are for. We're just trying to help Guapo out. His internet's not working. He can't get the port out. We're just trying to. He hasn't slept in weeks. He's defenseless, man. We can't hit a defenseless receiver. That's, I that's know. True. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Uh, 
I don't I don't really know where to go to. How off could of you? We have some. Um, we have a message from our good friend Cuz. That's right. You guys yes. ran into the Cuz yesterday. Yeah. Yes, we did. We had a very enlightening lunch with Cuz. So I didn't know we were having lunch. With First Cuz. of all, you're we, welcome. We didn't know. <laughs> I okay. I just came back from. She went to the bathroom. bathroom. Uh, he was walking through, and we had just finished all, or yesterday's episode where we talked about his dance moves. Right. And I, I was like, hey, cuz, nice dance moves. And then he just sat yeah. down and started talking about <laughs> a lot of things. An invitation to like, a lot of things. Like, the girls. The girls. <laughs> yeah. like, he's, he's like, like can I get laid by the girls. finest women? He's like, like, let, let me tell you, no, like, the finest women. Like, you're all right, but the finest women. Yeah, he goes, you, picture if you were 25 and beautiful. Yeah. Imagine, imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just try, imagine I know it's, I know it's hard, but just imagine for a second. It's like, ow. Ow. Like, like you're okay, but you're okay. But like, I'm talking. You guys are all right, but the girls I see Colombian are... Colombian women. He's like nagging us. I, I mean, like, he's not wrong. We weren't arguing. We weren't like, hey, we're pretty, we're pretty, right? We weren't like, girl, we're pretty, right? we were like, girl we're please we're let us fuck you. We were just sitting eating pancakes. We were just trying to enjoy me. <laughs> all right, well, touched all over. Let's uh, see what Cuz had to say. I mean, Rob yeah, was so, struggling right uh, now. He was. Uh, we. He. You gotta hang out with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving to Medellin. I'm with the finest woman in the world, doing the best drugs, the best cocaine in Tuzi, <laughs> which I'll explain to you what Tuzi is. And you gotta wake up, Cuz. You gotta come with Cuz because all the young guns want to party with me. Okay. I hang out with Aaron Massey. And, and ask Aaron Massey about how much partying we're doing in Medellin, Colombia. That's where I'm moving. I lost my voice. I'm not even playing the main. I'll talk to you in a couple of days because I love you. I think he started to choke up there. I know, it sounds yeah. like he was getting choked up. He's talking about Aaron Massey. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's <laughs> Medellin. I have a few comments. Because uh, for future reference is Medellin. Uh, Medellin, not Medellin. <laughs> second of all, sick name drop on the Aaron Massey. Right <laughs> like, I, I know you really the big time whenever you're out there it. with the finest Tusi uh <laughs> Aaron Massey like, out on the Matt, streets. You gotta and the, hang out with the finest women. Listen, well, yeah, I mean that comes with the Tusi. You gotta wake up. Pussy and Tusi. Right, yeah. It's, it's a just, hand in hand. You just gotta wake up. Wait, uh, was I sleeping? I might I don't have know, been but sleeping. If you do something yeah, like right talking about you wake up real quick. Yeah. You're sleeping on cuz, you know. I didn't get yeah. much sleep just, yesterday. I just, he just I, starts choking up. I really thought I was gonna die after the podcast. I went to lay down and uh passed out immediately. And I lasted an hour and 30 minutes and I was just like wired. Like, okay, this is my life now. I sleep for 90 minutes a day. I've become Conrad. I was going to say, welcome you to my world. You've become Bobo. That, Bobo well, can't sleep. Have you me? slept any since then? Oh, I slept like a baby oh, last night. Oh, great. I slept until until 10 p.m. Too, yeah. I was like, guys, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Gotta go. Passed out. Woke up this morning. We gained, did we gain an hour or lose an hour? We lost, lost an hour. Lost an hour. Well, we I didn't, didn't have an alarm set, so it didn't really matter. We didn't really <laughs> gain or lose an hour. It was, right, it just is. You're right. Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, when you say 10 a.m. sharp, we lost an hour because <laughs> our alarms were set. We actually lost right. two hours. Well, yeah. the, the clock switched throughout the night, but like it's like we were we were on ship time. We went to bed, and we're on ship time now. So yeah, like nothing really changed. Different. That's, that's just funny. a perception of what it was. You said you you almost died yesterday. No, I literally almost died. And you know how I almost died by video of Cuz because I was sitting right next to Aaron Massey <laughs> and we're in Landon. And we're having lunch, and you know, this video comes up, and I'm eating a burger, and I just start losing it when he just goes, Ask Aaron Massey! <laughs> oh, we asked him all right. We looked at Aaron and just start losing. Of course, fucking Jared, Jaffy's there. And he just, oh, hanging out with Cuz all the time. <laughs> Damn, dude, you didn't tell me. I, I honestly want to know how much Jaffy would have paid for the video yesterday. Yeah. Now he got it for free, but yeah. he would have paid a good number for it yesterday. I feel like I feel like the Massey brothers, Cuz and Jaffy, would be basically poker's version of the hangover. <laughs> right? like, I'm not sure who's playing which character. I'm sure Cuz is uh, Zach Galifianakis. They need to like film like a, a quick like reality mini series. It's like just two right. them million, on a vacation just or two something. Two months. Down, down to Medi Medi Medellin. Medellin. I'm moving to Medellin. The best two C. I'll Medellin. explain that to you later. <laughs> yeah, he liked to talk. Us, uh, talk to us about. Yeah, he, he did. Oh, I love Cuz. Yeah, he like he's turned it into like like an Italian word somehow. Medellin. 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 Medellino. Medellini. You. <laughs> know anything about that. Nah, yeah. <laughs> you ever been to Medellini? 
They get the best Italian food in the whole place. So, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to move right past that. Just <laughs> let, let, it sit, sit, let it sit for 30 let seconds. Let, 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 let him cook. Just sit in the uncomfortable. Let him cook now. Uh, unfortunately, I was unable to make the comedy show, but apparently, we are within. The, the walls of greatness here. Yes. I heard you yeah. shut the place down. Oh, yeah. yeah was great. Everyone walked out. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone walked out. No, it was, it was, it was really, really fun. I haven't done stand up since before the pandemic. And um, originally, they, they had us in a theater. And so I was checking out that venue. And then they moved us to this, like, um, venue was not ideal. Library? Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like coffee shop. But it was fun because every, all the comics were making fun of uh, the, the venue because it was like a place that seems like you shouldn't talk too loud right. and and uh we were, were like screaming about through. sex and people, people were like walking, walking through but it made good fodder for like uh you know small fun crowd house. crowd work mm -hmm. if you will um but yeah it was it was fun um i, I heard had you had a, a real uh real shutdown one with uh shaving your butthole uh, yeah, yeah well, not my butthole, the, the upper ass upper. crack area. Oh, yeah. bangs. Oh, the ass tail. bangs. The bangs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You your think, tail. It gets away from you because you never check there. Right. And you don't realize that, until. That has happened too late. Too late. Right? And you're just yeah. like, wow, like, those. Why is there a soul patch? You really, you guys have been working. You know, like, Nikki's you joking, but I believe Melissa. <laughs> like, why do no, I have a soul patch on my ass? Listen, I know Nikki wasn't lying because every time that she said something along these lines, like, I shaved my ass crack. Steve was like, <laughs> I can't believe she did it. <laughs> she finally saved the ass crack. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was like the weirdest times that he started clapping. Right? Yeah. It was like the most like, uh, I can't remember what the rest of them were, but they were just like the perfect times where he would be the only one clapping in the room, and it was because it benefited him. Right. <laughs> She was thinks, the one about keep trying with the baby. He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, she thinks it's spousal support. It's actually just positive reinforcement. Yeah. Like, let's keep these habits keep off. Keep <laughs> well, I had a joke about how I was put on hold to model for condom ads, mm -hmm. and um, and then they didn't book me because they figured out that I only take it raw. But probably <laughs> one of the times he clapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty sure that was yeah. probably one of the times. Right, yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping you bombed, honestly. Yeah, I was ready to fucking ready. stand. Yeah. Up. Boo, you <laughs> so was so you excited to watch. Toe. He's tr he's playing tough, but he was there and he was ready. He's he the first one yeah. there. He's the biggest fan. And he was well, dying he's laughing. He's a he, fan. He Everybody is, uh, else was fucking hilarious. Yo, there was this fat black dude. Was so yo, funny. shout out to the fat black dude. He was so funny, but the Mom crowd. Man. It wasn't the crowd for him, but he was so funny. That's because everybody was fat in the crowd. He was yeah. talking about fat people. He was and he yeah. was everybody silent. I am fucking in tears. Yeah, but that's all. Always. <laughs> That's literally always. No, I, that, no, no this dude was hilarious. Was I was awesome. laughing too. Dude. He was but, he, but he was he probably felt like he was bombing but he like wasn't like it was really funny no he I definitely felt like he was bombing because nobody was laughing except for me because it's yeah. a crew ship full was, of fat people yeah. is what i was crying let me tell you something that is not true about the gym here jesus christ it's like i've walked into a golds on a ship there were three black dudes in there that had to be six oh, I've six seen them. Yeah. and 225 pounds of shred yeah shirtless with shorts on shorter from? than landed they, they worked in here of okay. course they work oh, okay. here. Like uh, it's like I'm guys, here. give me a break here. You know, between you two here with your shirts off and, and these three girls doing atmosphere bottles, yeah, do, doing curtsy <laughs> squats in the heavy area. Like I can't breathe. <laughs> doing, ten, doing ten sets of horsing around. It's like Literally. I am bricked up. I cannot be in here anymore. These guys are. Well, that was not at all. <laughs> no. Right. Not where I was going with this, but sure. He meant they were in his way. They were definitely... The dudes were not in my way. No. The girls weren't my way. The dudes were definitely just like... And if the dudes like, were in your way, there's nothing you could do about well, it anyway. It was more of like, what am I doing here? I'm wasting my time. That is not the goal. They're not for you, they're I for Griffin. I got a great workout. I don't know. I was in there doing my P90X 30 minutes in and in out. In the gym? Sure. Yeah, in the gym. I need, <laughs> I need my I need, we need my some dumbbells. footage of turtle in the if gym. If you go at like 5.36, yeah. it's completely Dude, empty. Look, I, so I got, there, there. I got there at like 8. And, um, Too late. <laughs> I was walking, so you have, it's right, the, uh, the gym is right by the pool, and I go to the, it's eight in the morning, right, sun's out, it's warm. Guns out. Not one Guns are person out. at the pool, and I'm like, okay, this is a poker cruise. <laughs> nobody's up, nobody's doing anything, like, I, mean, I got there at 845, the place was swamped. Was it really? Swamped. Literally not one person at eight o'clock. I, I mean, not, just absolutely. Not the gym, there was a few people in the gym, I'm talking about the pool. The pool yesterday was crowded. Oh yeah, well by, by noon it was. A lot sure. of the... 
people like to you know put their towels on on the it's a little pet peeve of mine when you like you were pissed you were so I, mad I was, I was, what I'm, is I'm this? downplaying it how mad i was but i actually was pretty mad, that, mad about can i just say they, they, they reserve. reserve like but it's like hey are you sitting here and they're like we're actually we have 12 it's like no, you don't like <laughs> they're 12 well, they chairs at some point yeah, uh, yeah like, like four three hours, hours later yeah. like yeah it's like come on can, give me a can break. we can we just you know salute <laughs> the the thong is just like fully back I oh mean, yeah. yeah this uh, is yeah. just like we're cheats i know everywhere. i have one and i was gonna wear it and God i was like speed and then i was like what do you think about this and he's like i'm undecided I was like, yeah Same, i think i'm gonna and say I was like, it. If it was anywhere else but a poker i know cruise, right. I, may, I would anywhere but else but i would wear it otherwise oh, not otherwise, getting caught with poker news <laughs> taking pics of me <laughs> no like ass cheeks absolutely out. not that? can we honestly you can play that game can we can we acknowledge that the girl to guy ratio here is like one to one. Yeah, it, they're, yeah. They're it really is. This is I not don't what know I what happened. <laughs> I don't care what, they care what happened. I think I expected a ten, maybe twelve to one ratio. That's what I thought. I literally said there will be single digit females. But on I think this they cruise. did yeah. too. That's why they prepared it. It's so. unbelievable. They prepared it. Yeah, they prepared it's it. Like there are hundreds of girls here. Uh, yeah. It's just remarkable. They're, they're like. Uh, Apparently they like hired some models from Miami. Or something. God, God bless. Honestly, it's, it's not just that. There's like a lot of women here to play poker, which is like I, I played yeah, yeah, cash yeah. for the first day and they sit me at the table. There was two guys and the rest were women. Uh -huh. And then like three girls got up, three girls sat down. I was like, there's a lot of young. It's actually it's really cool. There's like we ate with this one girl who's like 23. She's like just starting her like poker career. And then there was another girl in the elevator who was like super young, like telling a hand history to her dad. Like there's like a lot of young uh, Hopefully girls. this is That's like awesome. indicative of, of like women coming into the poker space Maybe. more. Because like, there's young it girls, like, like, they're like, well, they're like- If more poker were on cruise ships, like I'm grinding. confident we yeah. can get more women in poker. <laughs> they were like- They can get anybody in poker. There was three girls at dinner. I went to dinner by myself last night and there was three girls sitting next to me. Those was having in-depth strap chat about hands i've never Love seen it. these women in my life before they're in a brain uh, trust no yeah, it was i was like it's pretty cool well, it's like it's a lot like comedy like when i first started doing stand-up there was like it was few and far between that you would see women in the lineup but then like a couple years in there were tons of younger young women in in the lineups and i think poker has a very similar male dominated industry that mm -hmm. like you just see you'll see a curve i think comedy is a good parallel because there's such a stigma attached where it's just yeah. like dick and fart jokes yeah. and it's like very male driven and mm -hmm. testosterone laden or at least uh, and poker is like very much that seedy game yeah. that's like supposed to be played in bar basements like both are done at dive bars. Bars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right right but I, I think the more it comes to the forefront where it's just like an industry now and yeah. mm -hmm. uh you know especially you know things like the WPT where they try to I don't want to say is glamorize the right word like well, they, they make it upscale kind of yeah this yeah. is I mean this yeah. is an event it's luxury it's an event. You know? right right yes yeah that's a good way of putting it and you know granted I don't think like much or any of this is going to be televised but like plenty of it will be Put out on social like oh, this, yeah, this is very yeah. much an upscale event yeah type mm -hmm. of thing uh that's very far removed from some seedy underground game where you know mobsters gonna come fucking look you up for mm -hmm. your losses <laughs> and stuff and i come think a they, long way. they picked uh virgin for like a reason because like this i think like i haven't been on like a carnival cruise or wow. dinner yeah, ones but you're like i assume yeah, that there's no bad. way it's as nice as this boat no, no way they're, they're really like, not great this boat is, this is upscale Fox. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> like we went to a steakhouse last night it was, the whole thing was completely free and it was delicious I mean, you ordered literally everything on the menu you wanted to. Yeah. Some people Dude, order two hundred. The pizza place here is fire. Have you? Is it really? It? Yeah. Yes. No, it looked no. disgusting, no, so I walked it past it. It was so good. I've heard it, it's really. Good. Somebody else told me that too. I didn't believe them. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, for, for what it is, not like the best gourmet pizza you ever had. It's like for what it is, mm -hmm. getting drunk food. It's like really, <clears throat> the crust is amazing. Can, can we talk a little bit about? how stupid april fools is first and foremost <laughs> yes uh it's so corny honestly I it. well i i will say i think it's like pretty remarkable at outing people for being not funny yes mm -hmm. because like, like this is my moment yes to finally make right. people laugh <laughs> right so it's like <laughs> obviously <laughs> time obviously there's plenty in life that's super corny but still lends itself to comedy and i think that there's like a very small window with april fools where you can find like a really creative way of of making it humorous. Nobody in poker does that, obviously. No. I mean, it was just the cringiest stuff. Adam 22s is good. 
I didn't see it. I, I, oh, the, I, I the fell for his, actually. The, the gay yeah. one? You fell for his? I did, yeah. How <laughs> unbelievable it his could be. His first Yeah, because I don't know. He does suck. I mean, he just yeah. leads really, he he leads in real there. into the cringe. <laughs> and he had good. a whole photo shoot and everything. You That's know? what makes like, it good. Dedicated. Yeah. yeah. Commit to the bit. I wonder if it was AI generated. No. No, I don't that was so. a guy. Yeah, that was definitely. That was a plan. And he had like the rainbow Kind of tinky. on. Yeah, it is a little bit of a tink. What, what's worse, Burke? The um, a tink. The, the twink. April twink. twink, yeah. The Tinkerbell. April Fool's joke where uh, they're trying to trick you, or the April Fool's joke where it's clearly a joke but not funny. The first oh, one. The latter. <laughs> I yeah, never have the, the first latter. one. Yeah. yeah. When when it's just absolutely not funny, it's like right. So, it's just like so yeah. It's like unbit. I know what you're doing. It's just, um, just not good. Because they so, don't really want you to think that. What they're saying is true. Like right. they want you to right. be right. Like, on it's the joke. It's like they can't be like, in on the joke. Yeah. So, you have to make it believable. so one that seems to have been tricking people that I didn't find funny was uh, Griffin was interviewed oh. as Landon to give advice for how he would play the main event. And I have to tell you, <laughs> the amount of people who text me and said I didn't know Landon had a twin, like legitimately yes. not knowing it was his brother, right? Were I, I have to have a half dozen texts. There were people that believed it was him. Like they were like, "Did what? Landon go yeah. LGBTQ?" <laughs> BBQ. And, like, and then they're like, "Oh, look at Landon's earring. Like, what is he doing?" It's like they really thought it was him. They're like, in the background of the video. Yeah, yeah. Like, yes. you're in the background. Earring, by the way. Thank you. Tell us some, tell us some poker strategies for this tournament. Honestly, we're just gonna start out playing a little tight. All these other players on this cruise, I think, are gonna be a little more loose. Now that they're here for vacation. But that's actually funny. The side by side. Further enough to where we can do this correctly. We're gonna have a good chance of success. Thank you. Video, Landon, like, the last video of Landon in that video, he's like rolling his eye. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. He's like. <laughs> Him photo bombing it was actually a that, little bit entertaining. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Was that Abby that interviewed? It okay. Was. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> no, that wasn't meant to be a slight. <laughs> I'm just saying it makes sense. The Zoomer humor. It was, yeah. Uh, around it. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're best friends now. Griffin and Abby, that's dynamic all. duo. Yeah. Griffin makes friends anywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Everyone wants clear. to be Griffin's best friend. Yeah. yeah. He had a, a posse of women last night at the karaoke. He's all groupies. of us. Were, yeah. yeah he, he absolutely killed. He had like it. twelve hot chicks, like fangirl. We were, we're walking back to the elevators after lunch, and this woman or this, this group of women walked by. They're like, I don't know, mid fifties or so. And he just, hi ladies, I love your necklace. <laughs> and they're just swooning. I know. Yeah. Yes. They love him. Yes, I'm he knows how to work the roof. Just full suit. Yeah. Oh yeah. What was he singing? Uh, he was thinking Michael. Yeah, Michael. Oh, yeah, Michael Buble. Buble. Yeah, yeah. Good. Feeling good. Of course it was. The best part about karaoke is you're you supposed to like look at the lyrics and like sing along. No. He didn't turn around once. No, no, why would he? Oh, he had a whole performance. Yeah, he he like, took yeah. his jacket off and he was like yeah. shaking yeah. his butt. He's shimmy, like, yeah. Shimmy. Yeah. Shimmy. yeah, he was he was really good. You, you seem to have taken your seriously. Oh yeah, mine was very I serious. I was glad we cannot. She blew my eardrums out. I was laughing with my stomach. I was laughing so much. <laughs> you missed the lead up. It was like there was a oh. whole lead up. It was okay. like, you know, you have Look, to see it was the whole funny. Thing. Steve's reactions were funny. Like, it was he was <laughs> thinking it so sincerely. It was like, because the song <laughs> sounds like a, well, because I was staring at him the whole time. So it's no, like, he was like, he was the way like, that I like, stare. <laughs> There's nothing else to compare. And then when I went to the chorus, it was just like, oh, I love yeah, she, and then everyone and was, no like, one was what expecting the that. Second, be, the, second the best version. Were, <laughs> certainly the second best version of that song I've heard since Heath Ledger in 10 Things I Hate About You. <laughs> I mean, just remarkable. Thank I understand you. how you landed Steve. Yeah. That's, Steve that's, that's like, a good movie. Steve was like, like, now go to the crowd and go to the crowd. I know what this movie is. Oh, really? Wow. She's really going to be <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like she's the Why man and shit like that. Very you good. just uh, you saw thing 10 now? things I hate no, about you. No, that's just what it was like. It was just 2K, like year 2000. Like I'm old, that, huh? I know, right? I How had my feel? millennium bar. How's it feel? Have you seen? How does it feel? How's it feel? I like matured. How right? you feeling? You feeling good? Wait, have you seen I, Can't Hardly I, Wait? I like you. Feel like I've huh? always been the same. Have you yeah. seen so. Can't Hardly Wait? No. Oh, oh my God. I had to watch Legally Blonde. That's not as good. Yeah, it's Can't so Hold weird. the Weight is great. It might uh, be one of the best and ones. That the lead actress, um, why can't Jennifer I Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt, yes. Oh, wait. I mean, you have to, was she in Poker for a while? watch the American Pie Or was movies. it the one from American Pie? Yeah, it, was it was the one from American, American Pie. Pie. Yeah, the American Pie Yes, Jen Elizabeth. Yes, Jen Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She the, was in Poker for a while. The Naked Foreign mm -hmm. Exchange Student. Oh, my God. Incredible. I know. Gave you I watched Euro Trip. Gave him Wet Dreams. Gave him Brick. 
brick. She was. Gave she him was brick. Cops gave him brick. Ima <laughs> Imagine being like your late twenties, early thirties, and like getting to meet her at a poker event. Yeah, after like after the American Pie series. I didn't know He's that like sick. Scotty doesn't know was a movie song original. Unbelievable. And Dude. Matt Damon. Matt was... Damon performs it. Oh, incredible. Did not know this. So good. Yep. Just an incredible performance. Really enlightening. Trip. This was Euro Trip. Euro trip. Yeah, Euro yeah. Trip. Yeah. 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 You had heard the song, but never seen the. Correct. You, how did you hear the song? It was like on the radio. It's a single. Oh, it's yeah. so good. No way. It's <laughs> so it good. Uh, yes. No. No, not Weezer. Weezer. No. 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 It wasn't no. a main band. It was a one-hit yeah. wonder for sure. Yeah. Oh. Um, book it. Guapo, you could just watch scenes from American Pie. <laughs> She's not wrong. Yeah. Defenseless. In Defenseless. Not okay. Okay. <laughs> Karaoke's over. It was Let's... Lustra. Exactly. Oh, Steve did total clips of the heart. I don't look like yeah, a clip yeah. of it, but that he usually he does a whole monologue in the, like, in the middle. There was he like, did. like he did an old yeah. Asian lady like yeah. filming him, and he like got in her face. <laughs> <laughs> it's he tough, like, to, it's tough so to do total filming. clips of the heart and try to live up to the Dan band. I mean, they really he crushed did, it. He, in. he did. He did pretty good. Well, I mean, you can tell he's a performer. Yeah, both of us you guys like perform. do like monologue yeah. type of. They, they were doing like, like comedy bits. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> right. we try to make each other laugh. Is karaoke good. like a nightly thing, or just like that was They're karaoke night? night. I think it's nightly. Oh, wow. Mm. Someone went twice, and I didn't get to go. By the way, yeah, I'm in the mock about it. She got her pool seats taken from people that weren't even there. How someone go twice before? What? I don't know. It's bullshit. Because he signed up. He signed up. He signed up. Sang his song. Went back and signed up right you, did away Did you again. sign up? He signed up right after. He, yeah, I signed up. But he signed up twice before, before he went yeah, once. Yeah. So they're going to be real pissed when I like, signed up to do the 10 minutes. And then they closed twice? <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess I got to go to karaoke. It's it's gotta see, I got to see what it's like. I, I can't Not karaoke, karaoke etiquette mm -mm. to do that. Mm -mm. Not I walked cool. in and walked out. Not cool. Really bad I, I could, like, maybe watch for a while. I'm a people watcher. It seems like a fun activity. I wish it was on a stage, though. But, like, I can't. I can't do it. Once you this start hearing their voices, I'm sure. you're yeah. out. Yeah, they're all good. No no no, 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 no. It was a mix. No, there were some oh. people that were really good and some people that sing like Some me. people are definitely like, this um, was definitely I wanted to be a singer and I yeah. have That's caught what my it break. Felt, it felt like it was... Oh. And we're out. And we're out. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it was a lot of... Like this is my moment. Yeah. Right, right. Thing. <laughs> it was either a I'm waiting my life to get on this cruise ship. Like it was either a joke or like this is my moment. Yeah. I think I would go. Caitlin was really moment. good. Yeah, yeah, Caitlin was good. She's always good. What did she sing? I, I missed it. I, I think you should do that song. No. That song. That song. That song. No. I could see Caitlin doing like uh, show tunes. Yeah, for I, sure. I could see her being very good at that. Does it in car even? Yeah. Sure. Berkey, <laughs> Berkey would do "Living on yeah. a Prayer." He'd have to. No. No, what? absolutely not. What the are you only thing about? I can Maybe do. I'll do. You've that. done it in front of all these That's people. That's different. This is, you know, th these are my people. It, they, you don't they have the understand. audience staring at you. Uh, it's, the yeah, I'm not trying to perform. Yeah, really yeah the audience was good vibes. I, I could only be an addition to a group that wanted to sing Boys to Men. And when the deep speaking part comes in, I can step <laughs> in. Speaking. I want Baby. Tortoise and Baby, Berkey sorry. doing Boys to Men. I can okay. only do a Jarrell song. I do not want that. You don't? Tortoise is a terrible singer. And he knows it and he embraces it. It, and that's what I hate about it. Yes, he was gonna do care. the ten minute Taylor Swift song. Yes. I was like, well. please, yeah. please don't. Please, that's thank way God. too long. It's oh, too man. long. I saw him do it. Was it Love Story? He hijacks By karaoke way, with a tie. I didn't do Love Story. I was singing along. He too. hijacked Love Story to no, somebody every, else. The whole Everyone place hijacked was singing. it. Listen, Taylor Swift is so popular that everybody there knew all the words and they were all Everyone singing. Everyone was having a great time. That's exactly what I said. There's so many people here. Could you imagine if I did the ten minute version and like, cause that song, it's Sounds like it ends five times. I know. And then you it goes know. on for another like eight you minutes. You sang the whole thing at Thanksgiving. <laughs> they will be so mad. <laughs> and you were like getting in everyone's face about it, like they were going to sing along with you. And he, I'm like, I don't know what's happening. He like when you get just the right amount of alcohol on Brian, <laughs> he loves to be nose to nose with people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's, he's like getting right at people, he's singing just, all too he, well. he wants that <laughs> intimate moment with happening? everybody individually. You know, yeah. just like really Eskimo kiss you at some point throughout the day. <laughs> you know, that's because I got a big schnoz <laughs> and a big heart and a big heart. right. Yeah, yeah. Not a big voice. No. Well, <laughs> it boosts. Loud voice. Yeah. Yeah, loud. Maybe not that uh, many octaves, but uh, it, it gets after. It. Uh, all right. What's everyone's plan? You guys going to the island? I want to chill on that beach over there. Okay. That one right behind. Only a couple wear, hours. I that sounds beach, great. But I have to wear a shirt. Yeah. I lost my I have to wear you, you seem to have uh, gotten less burnt in the last hour. 
Right? I, it's going away, I think. A little bit, I, yeah. I'll have everyone know, in the group chat, I said, bring sunscreen, and I highlighted it. Conrad says, I don't need it. And I was like, the sun is different next to the equator. If you don't normally burn, We are nowhere near the equator. We are near the... What Not the fuck are you close. talking about? Nowhere near the equator. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Look at a fucking globe, Brian. Also, Conrad's black. Do you know the equator? We're nowhere near... B, I have you know put on the is, is, We are near the equator. We're, 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 not, the we're in the Caribbean. Okay, okay, is it closer to the equator than Las Vegas? No. We've gone yes. south yes, from Miami. Yes, it is, but so it's just not, right. so we're not that close to the equator. We're just not, we're not close to the equator. Don't wear sunscreen. I have shared my screen. I mean, I'm so happy to not be the, the person in Here between. Here we go. Know, Here's I, where the I, equator is. I forgot my improv training. We are so close to the equator. Yes, and. Yes, and we're not. And there's the equator. Yeah, okay. it's quite south from here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this, this is <laughs> not the equator. We are nearer. This is closer. We are closer, sure. closer than we were. Sure. This is I, Nevada. Yes, when we're in Nevada, we're closer to the North Pole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're, 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 you're absolutely sun. correct. I'm yeah, saying, closer you get to the equator, the sun burns you. Well, <laughs> and that sun did feel stronger. I will just right. say. Yeah, it's because we're by the He's equator. He's still black, though. And then everybody I was around, everyone I was around got burned. Well, Caitlin and no. I were like Take walking that, around idiots. last night and everyone was offering us aloe. We're like, what's wrong? Like, we look great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Why is everyone offering Wait, us medication? Caitlin? Yeah, Caitlin. Okay, I feel like Caitlin is Caitlin just like a porcelain doll ready to get towards Yeah, yeah. That like four sense. hours and but, just got crisped up and everyone's like, I would expect Are you, you okay? not to burn that much. But yeah, so, so normally she doesn't. And that's why I was saying is like, even if you don't normally burn, I do probably I do burn in this burn. sun. I, feel I like used, when I was little, I was outside all the time. So I always had a base tan and I, I just think that I'm still like that. But I, now I just live well, inside. Just, just generally, it's about the UV index, right? Like uh, there'll be days where it's like a lot lower. Like there are days in Nevada where the UV index will be I like one or two. Burned. Well, not one or two, but like two or three. And you're likely to burning very low. But the days that it's like eight, Starting you're too. torched. And uh, Guapo's on the sunscreen because on he's not going to make the same mistake that he sauce. made <laughs> uh, at the Bahamas. At the ba so at the Bahamas, they got him. Oh. Didn't have sunscreen. And <laughs> we... <laughs> It's funny because we probably went to the grocery store, I don't know, a dozen times. No times. Normal price things there. Guapo uh, may have been walking through the Baja Mar Hotel and Casino and said, you know what? I don't want to get burnt. And he spent $70 on a thing. It's sunscreen. Oh. And bug spray. Wow, and bug spray. $70. <laughs> and to be fair, when you're at the hotel nice. and have no other options, these things are necessities and you are willing to pay. And they up 10x mark the shit out of you. They know. They know. Yeah, so they saw him coming. But this time he, we got the Walmart sunscreen. Six dollars. Hundred SPF. Yeah. Okay. We did you get the spray I need stuff? hundred. See, that's my man. You know, he knows not spray to get spray. the cream. Because here's the thing with guys, and you have to understand this. We will absolutely fry our bodies before we start rubbing lotion all over ourselves. <laughs> that's not true. I look like a snowman. Okay, except for it. Brian. My apologies. Brian got the fucking I, I white, white nose. And he's like, <laughs> Brian's got his white <laughs> nose. Oh, yeah, guys, I got my. Right. I'm saying that's not true as a man who owns three spray bottles. <laughs> right, right. Some, some people so are a little more careful it. than others, but I absolutely don't have time for it, and there's 0% chance I'm going to get my stinks. back done if, uh, if I have to, you know... <laughs> But yeah. if you can just spray it down. But you could have a, no like a lady do it for you. Yeah, in theory, you could do those things. That could but be like a practice, nice opener. You just no. end up getting torched. You have a slave no. to do that for A you, right? nice opener. Yeah. Hey, excuse me, pretty <laughs> lady. <laughs> <laughs> Mind moving you, me up a little? You don't think that would be good? <laughs> <a> pretty lady. <laughs> hey, I noticed that you're very sexy. Would you yes. like to rub lotion right. on yeah. me? It would be a great opener I if I looked like the dude in the gym today. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I'm a potato, so it's not going to go quite we're as well. We're cuz, apparently. Yeah, we're cuz. Yeah. Actually, cuz we hate hey, so in my back. Yeah. Cuz, cuz can do that. Yeah. Cuz would do that. Cuz it does it, that. It, it, yeah, it yeah, definitely did it. It absolutely works. I think we're going to try to go play pickle. Are you going to play? Why? No. I need a partner. It's back day. What the fuck? I got you, Burke. No. <laughs> Come on, bro. You gotta no. go with the turtle. Come on, bro. Conrad, no, you just Conrad? gotta shower. Ow. God damn it. I can't take one. I gotta talk to Vince Van Patten about, about, uh, about, about the um, Beverly Hills Housewives. Oh, yeah. You guys can play. Hopefully there's a second court or something. I, I just want to get what in like Leon? one big game. Leon, me, Leon, and Tammy are there. Oh. I need a fourth. Maybe I'll still Vince. 
Vince is supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. I've seen some highlights. Yeah. There you okay. go. All right. All right. Well, any pickleballers um, out there, reach out to Perky. <laughs> yeah. In the past. You know. Or pretty ladies that want to put Pretty ladies that can <laughs> <laughs> apply <laughs> lotion <laughs> to him. You should just walk around the bow and just ask ladies, would you like to be my pickleball partner tonight? Maybe I'll just ask them if they want to be my lotion partner. Yeah. 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 Apparently, that's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, according yeah. to Melissa, this is just a thing. Like, <laughs> you should that's expect it as a woman. Well, everybody <laughs> knows that the, like when a girl gives advice, it's not actually good advice. With dating stuff, like I'm like, well, why not? And then it's like I wouldn't be receptive to that. Of course, so not. I don't know why I'm giving that advice. <laughs> I think it would just be entertaining. It's just to sabotaging. Say. Yeah. I want nothing more just than for experiment. this episode to come out, and for the next four days on the boat, just random dudes walking up to you, be like, "Hey, can you get my back?" <laughs> uh, that yeah, won't work. Oh, I got some oil here. You mind rubbing me down, Disgusting. sweetheart? Yeah. You're yeah. scaring me. <laughs> when I think, in, you know, in theory, maybe it's nice. In practice, not so. Right. Nice. Yeah. Not. Not. I mean, yeah. it's not in the movie. You know, it's just. In her mind, it's not she's not the girl doing it. right in, so, in right. my mind i'm the one asking yeah you're the guy, guy. I'm like, yeah. why wouldn't they <laughs> honestly i'm gonna be pretty disappointed if nobody walks up to you and asks you that this week i don't think they will people they will one person days. one person I, one person's i've got faded you. into the background oh, the like i walk around here. with nikki and caitlin they're all like oh my god and i'm just like the <laughs> sign guy is gonna ask like, you for sure this is my friend she's shy <laughs> <laughs> She's very shy. Don't mind her. She's in the mock. She's yeah. stewing about not getting a, a, a cabana chair, or whatever. Yeah. No cabana, no karaoke, no nothing. No, no karaoke. Right, no Landon, singing for you. Let's uh let's get you to your to your usual in the muck segment. Uh roll that clip, Guapo. <laughs> All right, we are back in the <laughs> muck. Hey, that that intro's in the muck. You, what? You. you said send it to me. <laughs> Look, we did everything wrong. We didn't get the video. He swipped the, switched to the wrong person. That's okay. Um, Vacay mode. Are, are, yeah. are we vamping? Vacay mode. Pretty chill. All right, we're sending it to Brian. Brian, yeah. get us in the muck. Okay, <laughs> we got a uh, another user submission. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce their name. But it starts with a B. How so about if I tell you to shut up? Will you, will you be able to pronounce it? Then? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So shut the uh, fuck up. they're playing. They're at final table, Landon. This is an MTT. Wow. Here we go. Uh, so they said, uh, we are at the final six of a final table. Uh, the stacks are, the chip leader has about 50 big blinds. And then there are four stacks around 25 big blinds. And our hero is in second uh, with about 35 big blinds. So the table dynamics is very slow, uh, about 50 minute levels, and um, only two bust outs in like two and a half hours. So that doesn't matter much. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, well, well, it might. But um, so the blinds are 50, 100,000 with a $100,000 ante, right? So it folds to the chip leader who's on the button. And he has 200 he makes it 200k small blind folds and our hero calls with queen of clubs deuce of clubs in the big blind the flop comes down king of hearts eight of hearts deuce of diamonds it goes check check turn queen of spades our hero leads out for 275,000. the button raises now to 675,000, and the hero calls river jack of diamonds our hero checks uh the button makes it 1.1 million and our hero with the two pair elects to call uh and he's shown the 910 for a for a river straight so on so he said he had sorry oh, yeah he said he had two questions he said how how different is my strategy when i'm second in chips and opponents are too tight at the final table how how my ranges how my ranges should construct with ICM implications and then question two is is it reasonable that I'm uh, I'm sorry is it reasonable that on the turn I've made a decision to play to pay most rivers any thoughts any other thoughts Ooh. this is a spicy one this is you Landon I, I don't have final table advice sure uh, so one versus two you kind of have to be careful with trips uh, so when right. you do go for bets you should have bets that kind of say what you're doing well why don't you just answer the general questions before going through the whiz sure general questions is being how should your strategy change well, right you should play relatively conservative uh you should be pretty aggressive when it comes to playing some raises with certain candidates that wouldn't be the same in chip ev because you're more concerned about protecting your equity and also making your opponent fold equity that can that can beat you 
Um, how often are you calling preflop here? Always. Okay. Yeah, we suited Can't hands. Can't fold right? the suited queen. Yeah. Off suit queens, you can fold like queen deuce off, queen three off. Mm -hmm. uh, you can three bet some of the higher ones like queen six. Queen six is a nice one. Some of the queen X's or king X's that you <clears throat> don't really feel too comfortable calling the big blind can be used as nice three bet hands because you do get some dominating king highs to fold as well as the trip leader playing a lot of hands pre flop. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the trip leader's range has to be super, super wide here, right? They're pretty wide, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the button is wide anyways at 54%, but he's probably going to be a little bit wider, like maybe 60, 62, 63. Leveraging his chip leading stack. Leveraging chip lead. Uh, second in the big blind. Can't play too, uh, too aggressive back. Mm -hmm. So when they do decide to play aggressive back, it's going to be in a very polar style. So like big three bets uh, saying that they have a really good hand or they have Dusto like ace deuce or king four off or queen six off kind of hands. So what about his question as far as once he calls turn, he plans on paying most rivers? How well, do you the, perceive that? It depends on what the river is because saying paying most rivers is different if a heart comes. It's different if a king comes or an eight kind of thing. It just very, uh, it's very dependent on what the river is. Like on a blank, I would pay depending on sizing. But I think a big issue is the turn size itself, where if we are going to go for a turn bet, I'd imagine that we're more polar than going half pot. So for the size that I would choose here, it would just be 2e. So it's like a little bit more than pot or play check. With our hand needing protection and value with two pair, I would always just go for a 2e size and just go pot and a quarter. And then plan to jam most clean rivers. If a heart came, I would block. If an ace came, I think checking or blocking is reasonable. Now when we're met with a raise, how, when we're met with a raise, how, um, how cautious should we be here? Like, we're risking a lot, one versus two, so I don't think we can play many jams. I think jam is kind of scary, mm -hmm. just because if we're dead, we, we can be dead. And that's, that's not good when we're risking more than in a chip EV spot. And we might just have a chance not, not to be dead, even if we just, we I mean, we're just trying to stay in the tournament. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in this instance, uh, the it's funny because the small turn size kind of opened yourself up to getting raised, getting raised yeah. where our strategy as a whole should be more polar. And then and the problem is also like when you go with the small size and you get raised, you're, just, you're more kind of like inclined to call. You sort of like, induced a weird aggressive action. And then you like talk to yourself about it. You're like, oh, well, since I bet small, it's like he just can take some action here you know mm -hmm. it's one verse two so like he might just be raising freely or something like that well i mean yeah he took 10 9 and raised which is potentially like a reasonable candidate as a whole yeah you have some equity you get some higher cards to fold mm -hmm. uh but versus the bigger bet where we're saying we have two pair plus or king x plus like king jack for us can probably go for an over bet it's okay. just the top of the king x range yeah uh king queen obviously certainly can go for it with top two mm -hmm. so when we do decide to go for this half pot bet, it looks very susp suspicious. You, you'd want to do something more like 80%? 125. One, oh, 125? That's 2e. That's 2e. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. that's 2e. Just say I have king, jack, plus, and my bluffs are going to be flush draws. All right, so now... Jack 10. Mm -hmm. So now let's say we go 125. We're going to get jammed on, right? If, we, if I get jammed on, I would call with two pair. Okay. Your hand's too good. Yeah. yeah. Can't fold that one. I mean, it's, yeah. And yeah. like, what hand just is call he have? Just to live ha with the results, and then well, you like, shouldn't get jammed yeah. on. No, I know, I know. In I'm theory, just like I, I haven't looked at the sim yet, but like you should expect to see no yeah. raises like when maybe you maybe as king. I agree because kings and eights. No, they just call. They just call. And let the top river set's call. probably gonna call. Right. Yeah. You know, if they if jam they, on you and they have yeah. top set, like unlucky for you. But deuces never checks flop. Eights don't check flop. Yeah. Right. So when you have two pair, sometimes you're just allowed to lose, and then king queen is mostly gonna go for a c bet themselves on flop. Yeah. So if you go for bet and then get jammed on, it's like well. Mm -hmm. All right. I Would you care. ever jam over this turn raise, as played? Because I, I mean, mean you like, we force your hand. That's what I mean. Like, what, what are we? What are we really concerned about here? Sure, there's some king. We also in this block with a queen but... set that turned, where queens is the right. very logical flop check back yeah. turn. You turn a set and then maybe do something I, aggressive. I feel, I feel like there's just an overemphasis of being afraid of being against the chip leader. Exactly. Here. That's what I think. Like your people... hand's also very vulnerable. Like an eight kind of fucks you. Are we just trying to stay in the right. tournament though, and that's why we call? Well, that's like, that's the like if say there's a betting error, error on the river, just like they bet small or something along those lines, half pot something, and it's not mm. doesn't put us all in. We still have life if we're dead. The issue is like how are we dead? That's more the issue here. Right. I mean, no, yeah, I understand, but I just, right, because, people do weird shit. Like, yeah, but the thing is, is that like when we have the best hand, we shouldn't ever face check on the end. When we have the best hand, we should yes. Right, because it's not like king ten, 
mm -hmm. checking back then raising turns. King so it's never right. a one yeah. pair hand. Yes. It's always like two pair plus or air, mm -hmm. which and means that we should just face a bet on the end unless his two pair plus decides that the board got scary. So every time we win, we face the all in, but yeah. now we have to call. Mm -hmm. Right. Would which he ever is have like a, a queen eight, or would he just bet that on the plus? I, I, I think that's a potential. Check I think back queen eight yeah. is. But like, there's only one combo left. Queen eight's right, possible. Right, there's right. one combo. Like yeah. if you run into it, you run into it, and it's well one suited combo, right? Well, queen two, queen two's off should be uh, probably folding pre for the button, but like just because you queen have the chip, off. queen eight. I'm sorry, queen eight off. Queen yeah, that's queen true. Eight off is not folding. No, it's button. not. No, no, queen eight off. That's a very reasonable hand. Right. Uh, just because so yeah, there's four combos. a reasonable hand doesn't mean that you can't take aggressive action. Right. Even though, because like you kind of, the half pot really fucks you here. Yeah. The half pot really fucks you here. Because now you're like, you have what is potentially the top of your. You, you've put yourself in ICM range. hell. It's yeah. so yeah. weird because like, I feel like versus, if we're playing this hand versus a recreational, this recreational is going to show us kings or eights every time. Uh, Possibly. Like, we're just, there's just not going to be many blocks. They just see. You'll probably. never see eights, I don't think. I just don't think eight ever finds the flop check back. I, it's just like, I think... And it shouldn't check back. For right, 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 No, no, of course it should lead, They're covering. Right. But I'm just saying, like, it's. it feels like I see this a lot where it's just like, oh, I have a set. I flop the set. Well, yeah. you, what what you're play. actually saying is just that they're not going to raise 9-10 on the turn, which is true. Yeah, it's kind you're, of... You're seeing more more concentration to sets against a wreck because they're not going to raise 10-9. They're not going to raise the bluffs, yeah. But, yeah. like, at the same time, too, if you go for overbet on the turn and then get jammed on, like, there's actually more of a case to fold because the bluffs right. are never going to be that right, right. existent. There's, there's not going to be any. Also, don't you feel like in, in a lot of wreck games, um, like, a smaller bet size like that leading out uh, from the small blind that they think that you're trying to get a good price on your flush draw, so then they raise you sometimes if they have a pair? Yeah. Because they're they're like, oh, I'm not letting you see a free or like a cheap river. Like I would so maybe agree if it didn't go check check. Yeah, I was gonna say if it didn't go check check flop, then yes. Right. Or check check flop. What if they, got, what if they, what if they turned a queen like they have a pair, a uh, pair on the. They turn. would just call because yeah. they have a pair. Like if they go 15, 20 percent. No, they don't have a cheap uh, like, river. That's, right, but they don't have. I thought you were saying, but they don't get that choice. Is the problem? Yeah. Because like you're just betting a king too. Yeah, they don't get that choice. I don't think you're gonna raise like middle pair that often, but, um, yeah, I think like the crux of this is just. Uh, kind of what Landing's alluding to, where you can't hedge your sizing because if it's a one-two spot, mm -hmm. you just have to at some point accept the fact that you're playing versus chip leader and you know play your your value hand accordingly. I think alternatively, this hand could just check uh, and be bucketed into like one of our strongest traps, if you will, check calls, whatever. These are my turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I I imagine it's mostly going to choose strat. Like I think it's just so nice when you unblock the king, so right, he does right. have the king low check back. Yeah. Um, then again, like the difference that in this spot specifically, like with the GTO wizard, we do have ICM ranges, but we don't have ICM post flop. Right. So ICM post flop might look a little bit different. What about the the river when the jack comes off? Is this one of the cards that he can get away from? Not for the size that the guy chose. Right. It was not all in, It was right? not all in. Yeah. That's and, true. like, even then, you know, like, there's not many hands that are going to raise that connect very well with the jack. Right. Like, queen jack doesn't exist. Well, you exist. would think some king jack would exist, King maybe. jack should be c-betting flop a ton. Sure. And probably just going to call versus the half pot. Yeah. Or one pair is... Yeah, so it's, like, 9-10, ace-10, and then, like, jack x that's not bluffing. Yeah. Do we, do we see, like, the king like the king x low just probably not checking back often here on flop and betting and just... Should be the opposite. I understand it should be opposite, but I feel I, like I don't think I, like we King see it the three checks back here that often. Or sorry, I don't think King three like bets here as often as like King Jack would. Man, yeah. I feel like we, yeah. No, all right, fine. Yes, sure. But I feel like we see we're going to be seeing a lot of um, protection by the King axes. Like maybe, but that's not a thing. It doesn't need protected from yeah. anything. No. Yes, I understand, but I'm just, like from people's point of views. The king, a king, top pair gets bet here a lot. Yeah, no, nobody's I, debating that. I agree yeah. that, right? But yeah, I don't no think I don't think that. like king three is ever going to get bet more than king jack. Yeah, that's no, the whole no, point. I'm not saying right, right. It's yeah, that if sure. there's any king x checking, it's obviously going to be the small ones. If there's, any. Ones, if yeah. there's yeah. any, sure, yeah. Uh, all right, let's see what the wizard has to say here. Yeah, so the wizard, so flop check check is going to happen. It's this is just like a chip EV sim, so it's not going to be like perfect by any means. But then again, I don't think flop is just going to be a range bet for the covering stack on the button. Just because there's a king on the board and it's good for them doesn't mean they just want to start putting in money with hands like queens, jacks, and tens. So this seems like it's going to be relatively reasonable. So eight's going to mostly bet. Kings is going to mostly mostly bet, sometimes trapping for the button. But the turn queen, uh, in theory, the size here is just going to be 127%, which is just 2E. 
and then Queen Deuce is just a pure bet. Your hand's really good. And like there's some small amounts of checking, the EV of check, so like trap is gonna be reasonable, but most of the time just majority betting, hoping to get called by that king that did check back the flop. Like king seven is a big one, king three is gonna be a big one for him. Uh, king jack doesn't exist very often, just because it's going to be putting in value bets a ton. You wanna use the lower king X's to play uh, check to protect your range. So versus this half pot size, we'll see here that some raises are definitely allowed from him. 10-9, uh, not really the combo that you want to use because you do have equity. We're getting jammed on is kind of a disaster. And if he's betting queen deuce or if this is the only size he's taking, the big blind will have king queen a very reasonable amount of time. So bet, raise, getting jammed on with king queen uh, when you have 10-9 is going to be relatively sad. Uh, queen 8 does exist, but mostly is going to be betting the flop, so it's because there's a low low amount of it here in the turn. Because protection and value is nice, uh, getting some ace highs to fold is relatively reasonable and you get called by worse. So, it looks like first is raise. Uh, in theory, I just imagine queen deuce. Oh, so like you can mix it. Uh, with the flush draw, you kind of want to call to have flushes on the end. Without the flush draw, you need a little bit more protection, but the EV of both options are going to be the same. So kind of do what you want i suppose uh i think if you're gonna if we were to able to add lyceum to this though i imagine, it, I imagine it would jams. skew one way or the other very yeah heavily and like jam's probably gonna be all right uh the issue might it just depends on how much how likely it is you run into better right right where yeah. if they are checking kings in icm mm -hmm. which i don't think is going to happen very often then you're going to play more calls mm -hmm. but if all of their value hands are going to go for a small bit on the flop to just target range versus range. Then we just get the jam a lot Then more. we would jam more as their yeah. range is gutted. Would the opponent ever check back top two? They shouldn't. The they might. Because if there's like, they think they a lot of board coverage and kind of- It's still one versus two. Like you don't want yeah. to take on the variance yeah, of a lot and, of your opponents and that's what I'm, that's outs. what I'm wondering. Yeah. So yeah, like, I mean, I would just take top two and say this is a three street hand. And right. if you have two of the same kind on the board, it's more likely they're going to have a drawing hand. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. So if it now, was rainbow, right? Like if it was rainbow, they'd I mean, you still just bet. Uh, you just don't really play. <laughs> you just don't slow play. You know, the hands. whole point is that it's one versus two, so you get to apply a ton of ICM pressure, and you're right. just going to be betting a lot of your range. And it's so yeah. hard to make top two pair right. and top end value. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, right. Two pair doesn't just come I to think everybody. People, <laughs> that's actually like a really great uh, thing to highlight. I think people don't understand how. Uh, and again, this kind of shined in the Shamath post about how uh, defensive poker is as a game. That's just fundamentally not true. And I think that this is where people get the misconception. They flop really big hands and they think like oh i need to like check a street Trap, to let them catch up protect the range so that they now have enough equity to continue you don't understand like once you get to the turn all equity is massively diluted so if your opponent had nothing on the flop and then turns a flush draw they have like 18 percent equity they had 18 percent equity with that same hand on the flop right so it's like if they had that backdoor flush draw anyway it was the same amount of equity to see the turn as it would be to see the turn and then river and i, I think people would just totally miss the concept of the way this game is played is the only way to win a large pot is to be aggressive over three streets. So if you flop a hand like top two pair, you don't suddenly find ways to get stacks in the middle by river if you check a street. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you're out of position and they have the aggressive lead and then you can like, you know, Becker. debate you between check people, raising well, or whatever. You think people are conditioned to um, like do that because people are under defending? It's a little bit of that, and they're also just like very much conditioned by one, river bets don't get paid off after three streets of aggression nearly enough. And then number two, they just have this constant negative reinforcement of I flopped up to C bet and won. Not understanding that, like, oh, well, if you had flopped nothing in C bet, you'd be happy to win. Right. You flopped yeah. nothing, you C bet, you win. You're like, oh, look how good C betting range is. Exactly. And then no, you have two pairs. I, was, you I win. guess I was like, just oh, wondering boom. because sometimes uh, top and bottom is a trap hand that you can, that like, according, with the sim. So yeah. I, I've never checked back top two, but I was sure. just wondering in an ICM spot if that was. Uh, a thing so most of the time when it comes to top and bottom checkbacks they are very real where if we look at the wizard and it goes check quarter pot and we see a hand like king deuce off for the big blind we're going to see that that plays pure call because out of position your equity gets drained on an eight yeah. but if you're in position and you have king deuce that, that's different than checking back though correct right like so king deuce is never I'm, checking back i'm getting flop. at king yeah. deuce not if you're checking out of position back. just yeah. you're just calling you're not you're not like raising. the in position when yeah. you have top two or top and bottom you don't 
check. Right, right. right. Out of position when you there's, play check. Yeah, there's call. a big difference between. You don't check raise. There's a big difference between checking back and foregoing the ability to bet and now playing a two street game as opposed to trapping right. as the caller and protecting your calling yeah. range. Yeah, that's what I just wanted clarity on. So, yeah. like, if we're looking at King 8 here in Ship EV, we're pure checking back the flop if we have the eight of diamonds because of the eight x of diamonds that could exist for out of position mm. but this stuff isn't going to be that necessary for right. the games that you're playing right, so it's yeah. like let's just not get into the weeds and say just bet when you have top two and top and bottom and you're going to be doing just fine so as played what what happens on the river here so as played it goes check check uh the turn is a what was it queen of spades yeah queen of spades yep funny because when the machine when the machine refreshes it chooses the correct size it just does it just can't take it <laughs> it's like oh what the fuck is this half pot shit i always like these little blurbs warding off weak strategies like half pot <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we go half uh the button decides to raise uh, and then we call so uh we've already talked about why you want to call with the flush draw River is off to Jack, just like Jack of Diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Jack of Diamonds are mostly checking. I thought like some spooky lead might exist and like kind of does, spooky. but not really. Weird spooky lead. He goes, yeah, so his size here should just be all in for check, but then right. he chose like weird size. So now we just got to be this like. The, I want to get paid size. Now rewarding weak strategies again. <laughs> we're going for 40%. Oh, versus B40. I mean, it's not really going to be a question. Yeah. I think it's more important to just look at it's what a call. happens it's just a call yeah of course it's a call but like what happens versus jam i guess versus i mean folding would be like insane right so that we can check right? probably don't have better hands to call with but okay. the jack feels like range wise it's really bad but again like i might be overemphasizing it because i just think people pull their bluffs from ace 10 9 10 too often they're probably also pulling it from like jack 10 you actually call and it wins more <laughs> okay wow. win because <laughs> they, well, they shouldn't have ace 10 10 9. well it's also winning more because uh there's more chips going in the big pot, pot yeah, yeah. Bigger but this pot, is just this is just a... chip bv right this is the inverse Post, of theory yeah. and practice right like you face a jam and your your call actually wins more but then when you call in practice and you call and you lose percentage of the pot though it's probably winning about the same yeah i, I agree like, with you people definitely have jack 10 and more than ace 10 10 9. They should, well, but they probably, it's a matter of do they bluff it on the end, but B40 would make me think yes, yes yeah. right? Like, I would just be like, oh, yeah. he's mergy here, and he's doing, like, weird things, but it would also, like, make me concerned a little bit of Queen Jack, because yeah. now I would just think, like, it's a mergy strategy yeah. over so multiple streets. All, yeah, all yeah. the middling yeah. shit. Interesting, yeah. 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 But, like, you, whatever, you just can't make that much. Th this is, you know, I know, I know people haven't pushed back on it, but, like, this is why we default back to theory to guide us whenever a bunch of non-sizing occurs. Mm -hmm. You just pay because it's like, well, what else are you going to do? How could you do better here? How could you ever read through this sizing when it looks like it's a whole cluster of bunch, like, like of a bunch of hands that, like, you may beat or may be beaten by? I wonder, just though, shrug, like, on this know? board, like, it feels like even the mergey stuff just has us dead. Nah, Jack 10, we smash. Sure, Jack, Jack 10, 9, we Jack smash. Nine. Flush draws are doing well again. 9, 8, if he's like merging that way, we smash. But like, we don't see that raise on the turn enough. You don't know. I mean, you don't, because if he's betting 40% with those on the end. I paid enough people to know they don't have fucking Jack 9, all right? <laughs> Sounds like a misread. <laughs> I mean, he had 9, 10. Uh -huh. There we fucking it. have it. Like, that's the whole, that's the whole counter argument. That's why you can't play these logical games or, or these illogical games, I should say. Oh, like, I've never seen, I never see him have Jack 10 there. It's like, well, but he had 9, 10. Oh, so yeah. it's like, you know, whatever. You just, you either go back to the prior node and jam, or you just expect to pay on most rivers. Yeah, I would you just know? find myself in a pay situation. The irony is that like, if he gets counterfeit, he probably folds, and he shouldn't. Well, also, mm -hmm. if you bet 2E, you don't get raised of on course. for not all in. Right. Yeah. You just win so, the pot like, there. So if you look back mm -hmm. at the wizard, I suppose, and we go to this, and you shouldn't get jammed on or really raised anyways, but if you bet, if you over bet and then get jammed on, and you have queen deuce, you just call like, yeah. and win 28 big blinds. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of big blinds. Or get you have 10 nine of hearts? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh. You he just had 10 nine. He had uh, a form of 10 He had 10 9 off. Some form of 10 9. 10 he had, off. oh, he told me exactly what it was. I can. I mean, it's it's not that if it's not hearts, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, and I would expect it not he had to be. The, he had the 9 of hearts. Okay, fine. Sure. 10 of diamonds, 9 of hearts. But yeah, like, sure. issue being like when you go for the polar size, 10 9 can't call on the turn. Right, right. Just so folds. this isn't your. Right. Your, 
You don't have to be worried about this. Very mucky. Very mucky indeed. Uh, this is not wizard approved. It's Sorry, more just like, friend. it's All like right. in the muck because the sizing is wrong, right? It's just very simple, like turn size incorrect. You're playing polar, checker yes. 2E. That simple. Yeah, and, and to be fair, like he faced a response of a lot of non-sizing and this is what mid stakes is. It's a bunch of uh, poorly sized uh execution and that's why it's okay to pay because you make up all of that money by sizing correctly yourself yeah like a lot of the errors like the way you capitalize on a lot of the errors that are sizing errors is you just call and realize for a cheaper price exactly it's not like you do Pot anything odds. special right, it's just you don't have to play spooky odds. raise you don't have to be tricky it's just like oh you bet too Ooh, small i'm gonna start booing people whenever i raise I'm just gonna uh. boo. <laughs> This is a spooky race. race. I like, I like, <laughs> it. like it's a two E spot. They bet half race. pot, and you're just like boo. Call. <laughs> yeah. Boo. Uh, all right. If you guys want to submit your own in the mock, be sure to head to our Discord. Hit hashtag Discord in the chat, or go to our Twitter page at Solve for Y TV. It's the pinned comment. Um, I think we have a quick preview of this season's on second thought. We are highlighting the stand up game. This might be the only stand-up training material that's out there, so be sure to consume it if you're interested or if your games play stand-up. Uh, this is a preview of episode one where I kind of break down my strategy. Welcome back to another season of On Second Thought. The stand-up game takes the pressure of ICM that you see in MTTs and it flips it on its head. Again, there are a lot of different viable ways to approach this. Executing a limping strategy, executing a 7x strategy, all of which you'll see throughout the course of this season. For this first episode, we're going to be coming from my perspective. Now, we don't have any capacity to program in the EV loss of being the last one to sit, but theory is applicable in any environment, no matter how chaotic it is, and no matter how much the rules are bent to break what the simulation wants to do. All right, you can watch the season 10 uh, of On Second Thought at solveforwhat.io. You can watch the previous nine seasons there as well as 10 seasons of Poker Out Loud. Episode two of On Second Thought is up today. It's more of a podcast style, so it's myself and Hunt. We're kind of discussing his strategy, how he approaches the stand-up game as an MTT guy. And as someone who was playing it for the very first time ever being thrown in that environment, I think that it's very helpful to anybody who is... Uh, privy to the stand-up game and hopefully if nothing else and you're not playing it in your games it gives you a sort of a toy game to think about and solve like that that's kind of the beauty of this is there's no tool for it you have to you have to kind of uh, logic your way through it yourself uh, that's gonna do it for us. We're gonna head to the beach. Conrad thinks he can swim there. I gotta tell you, we're probably. I'm like, actually putting there it on Twitter. There's no chance. We're like a mile offshore. I'm putting it on Twitter right now. I'm seeing how, how much I can raise. Uh, okay, so I think we're like a mile offshore. Conrad, as far as I know, sinks. What? Uh, oh, you're dense. 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 I'm Norwegian. What I'm a goddamn dense? fish. I grew up on a boat. Norwegian? All I do is fucking swim and fish. You grew up on a boat. You're from Long Island. Every Saturday and Sunday, at 5 a.m., I was on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? I was Norwegian black. Mark, good luck Pick in your team. pickleball tournament. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to get on it. All right, that's going to do it for us. We'll be back again tomorrow, noon Pacific. As always, we'll see you guys then. Peace. Later, squad.